from around the globe. It's theCUBE with digital coverage of AWS Public Sector Partner Awards. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman and welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of the AWS Public Sector Partner Awards. Uh, going to be digging in, uh, this, uh, this award is for the most customer obsessed migration and happy to welcome to the program two first time guests coming to us uh, from India. Uh, first of all, of the partner with Tech Mahindra, we have Gautam Patterji. He is the vice president with Tech Mahindra, who's the winner of the award. And uh, they've brought along their, their customer for this. Uh, that is Satindra Gupta, who is the director of the CPWD, which is the Central Public Works Department, part of the government of India. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Welcome. All right, if we could just, uh, <laughs> let, let's start with just a, a, just a quick, summary of what your organizations do. Uh, Gautam, we'll start with you. Tech Mahindra, I think most of our audiences you know, should be aware, you know, large, very well-known uh, organization. Uh, congratulations to you and the team on the win. Uh, tell us you know, what, what your part of Tech Mahindra uh, does. Okay, so okay. Tech Mahindra is a $5 billion uh, organization, and it's a part of Mahindra uh, and Mahindra which is approximately a $22 billion organization worldwide. So Tech Mahindra is primarily into IT services and the consulting services for the information technology and information technology related works across the globe. We have got multiple offices, almost around 90 locations across the country. And uh, we have got the entire operations worldwide in different verticals and different uh, geographies. So as a part of the Tech Mahindra, I manage the central government, that means the public sector business for Tech Mahindra based out of New Delhi in India. And uh, we, we handle the complete large public sector organizations and uh, different ministries which are coming under directly government of India. Wonderful. Uh, so Tindra, uh, obviously public works, uh, I think rel relatively self-explanatory, but Tell us a little bit about your organization, your role, and if you could you know, introduce the project uh, that, that your, your group uh, worked with Tech Mahindra on. Great, so Central Public Works Department uh, is a 100, approximately 65 year old organization which was created by Lord Dalhousie in 1854. Since then, this organization is working. The prime responsibility of this organization is uh, to uh, do the construction work for the government of India, the primarily in the building sector. And uh, at uh, DGCPWD, Director General CPWD, who is heading the department, is the technical advisor to the government of India regarding these construction matters. Right, so uh, this department is spread across the, across the country from north uh, Rinagar, Jammu and Kashmir to South Kerala, and uh, from uh, uh, Gujarat in the west to in the Arunachal Pradesh in the east. So it, this department have a presence across the country. Uh, we deal we deal uh, with uh, all sorts of the construction activities, not uh, <coughs> especially to only the building, but. We, we created the infrastructure for the government of India, like stadiums, jetties, so, so many, so lots of the activity we do. And if there is any issue regarding, um, for example, in the tsunami, uh, tsunami came so where, where the government uh, deployed CPWD uh, to, to uh, construct the small houses which are suitable to that country. And uh, CPWD is using the uh, information technology since long, but uh, uh, we have a, all the operations are working in silos. Now, uh, last last year, the it has been decided to implement the ERP system in the CPWD, wherein all its operation will be placed in a single unit uh, platform, and uh, everything will be connected to each other. Two, two, two. So, this is what is the intended purpose of the. This implementation is, as far as myself is concerned, I am in charge of the implementation of this ERP system in the department from uh, its inception 
to the uh, end. And uh, it, it, it will involve the tendering process, it will involve the onboarding of the Tech Mahindra and uh, it's the implementation, uh, looking after the implementation of entire system thereafter, uh, devising the method to in the department to uh, uh, make it adaptable for each and everybody. So this, 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 this is, these are the rules uh, that uh, I have. All right, um, Gautam, if you could, uh, migration is obviously a, a big part of what I expect the, the Tech Mahindra is helping customers with. Uh, help frame up, uh, you know, the, the services that you're doing. Uh, talk a little bit, if you could, uh, the underlying AWS component of it, and you know, specifically, uh, give us a little bit about Tech Mahindra's role in the CP, uh, the, the Public Works uh, project that that uh, we were just talking about. Okay. So coming to the relationship and the journey which we have started for this CPWD project, it's around year, year and a half back when you have started interacting with CPWD by understanding their business challenges and the business requirement, which is primarily the automating the whole processes. And uh, there are multiple applications, multiple processes which they wanted to automate. Now, definitely, once that automation comes into picture, you have to take place the complete automations of the applications, the complete automations of the infrastructure, and the complete automations of the uh, UI part of it. That is the user uh, perceptions, user interface, right? So all three has been covered by this complete automation process. Uh, as a part of the system integrations business, our main objective is to plan and bring the respective OEMs who are the best of the breed uh, technology providers to bring them to utilize those platforms and to utilize those course applications so that by utilizing those technologies and the applications, we can automate the complete process and provide the complete drill down management view to CPWD for their entire operations and application. In the process of doing that, what we have done, we have brought in SAP as an S4 HANA implementation, which is the primary business applications which will be implemented in CPWD. Uh, the entire user login and user interface will be done through a portal, and that portal will be utilizing the Liferay as a portal, which will be the front end user interface. There will be an e-tendering application, which will be also through one of my large you know, partners who will be working together for us for the e-tendering applications, which is also a part of our entire 40 of the whole automation process. And the entire application, e-tendering, the portal, and all the applications, as a matter of fact, will be hosted to the cloud on AWS platform. Now, once we are talking about the AWS platform, that means it will implement the complete infrastructure as a service and the complete platform as a service. So all the compute, storage, everything, we will be deploying from the AWS cloud and necessarily all the platform in terms of your database, applications, all third-party tools to do the performance testing, management, monitoring, everything will be provided as a platform as a service by AWS. So we engaged AWS from the beginning itself, the AWS team and SAP team, both the major OEMs worked with us very hand in gloves from the day one. And uh, we have multiple interactions with the customer. We understood their challenges. We understood the number of uh, users, number of iterations, number of uh, redundancy, number of high, I mean, the kind of high availability they will require in terms of the business criticality of the applications. And based on which, together, along with AWS, Tech Mahindra, and SAP, all three of us together arrived a complete solutions, architecture, and the optimizations of the whole solutions, so that overall impact comes to CPWD as a customer, the ultimate results and the business uh, and the business output they they uh, deserve. You know, so that is the way we we actually interacted. We have got the inter entire interactions with the AWS solutions team, AWS architect team, along with our enterprise architect and the solutions team, who worked very closely along with the customers, done the sizing so that 
it exactly matches the requirement not only for today down the line for next four years because the complete implementation cycle is 18 months and after that tech mahindra as a prime service provider will provide the four years after implementation support to cpwd because we all understand that any government department any government understanding these kind of business applications implementation it's a transformation now this transformation definitely cannot happen overnight it has to happen through a process through a cycle and through a phase because there will be the users who will be the proactive users who will start using the entire applications from the beginning and gradually the more and more success the more and more user friendliness will come into the whole picture then participation for multiple users, multiple stakeholders will come on board. The moment that comes in, the user's load, the user's participations and user's load, both into the platforms, both into the infrastructure will keep on changing, keep on increasing. And that is why our role will be how to manage the complete infrastructure, how to manage the complete platform throughout the journey of this transformation of five and a half years. And that is what the exact role as a prime and a large MSP Tech Mahindra will perform for next five and a half years, along with AWS, along with CPWD, and along with SAP. <clears throat> All right, well, well, Satindra, uh, Gautam just laid out, <laughs> I think, a lot of the reasons why they won the customer best award uh, from AWS on this. You know, I, I think back to earlier in my career and you talk about uh, an SAP rollout, and it, it's not only the, the length of time that it takes for the rollout and the finance that's involved, uh, but what Gautam was talking about is, is the, the organizational impact uh, and adoption. So I'd love to hear from, from, from your side, you know, what were the goals uh, that, that you had coming into this? Uh, it sounds like it's getting greater adoption inside the organization uh, for, for using these services. Uh, give us your insight as to, you know, how that rollout has been going, uh, the goals you had, how you're meeting them, any uh, success metric uh, that you use internally uh, to talk about uh, how the project has gone so so far. We to implement the ERP system in the CPWD, the activity is going on since a long time. It's more than one and a half year have been passed. We have uh, engaged uh, one of the consulting organizations to suggest the way to transform our business processes. So they have come with certain ideas and uh, uh, within that, the ERP implementation is the last one. Most of the uh, advice have been implemented and uh, we have started, uh, started to uh, get this ERP implementation for which we had uh, made interaction with all the leading uh, IT service provider in the uh, country, along with the all the leading cloud service provider in the country, and uh, this, uh, of course, uh, uh, all the uh, leading uh, ERP solutions, uh, OEMs, uh, ERP OEMs also. So it's a long journey. We have uh, trial approximately half of the journey uh, from there, and. Uh, through a formal training process, uh, the Tech Mahindra has been uh, appointed as a system integrator, and uh, during uh, the, they have come with the all the sorts of the solution that they are offering. For example, they have come with the SAP as a OE, ERP OEM, and thereafter uh, this uh, one life race solution for the portal, e tendering uh, application uh, from a reputed uh, his vendor, and. Uh, over and above, all, everything is being hosted on the AWS uh, cloud platform. So it's just going to be a, and everybody knows that the, uh, Amazon is a leading leading cloud service provider with uh, uh, lots of the facilities available with us. So during the uh, this journey, we had got lots of the support from the AWS. We had lots of the query regarding our data security, et cetera. We, uh, the AWS team continuously visited our office and uh, uh, explained each our queries on this. And uh, now the from the March onwards, the Tech Mahindra has started the implementation process wherein 
more than four months have been passed since then and we have traveled a lot so the whole objective of this implementation is all our activity will be done on this ERP system only whether if, if somebody is working in the CPWD he will have to either work in the CP uh, on the ERP or he will not be able to work, uh, work at all it is a like go and no go situation so all our system is to be going to be automated uh, earlier we were having a different IT application which were working in the silos so everything we want to be integrated to we, each other and the time that is being uh, wasted to make the entry at uh, uh, or the different activity at the different time and we, 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 uh, the application says application were not talking to each other they are working in the silos so that will go away so what we are expecting everything will be on the erp system itself and uh, uh, we are expecting the the efficiency of the, our our uh, cpwd engineers is going to be increased tremendously apart from this the, they will be able to handle more number of the works compared to what uh, they were handling within the same time frame every since and everything will be available on the click of the button so for which we need not to go to uh, uh, go and ask from anybody to give the reports etc so from the management perspective by the click of the button we should be able to get all the inputs all the reports what is going on uh, uh, across the country in the organization so it is it is going to be really uh, a, a transformation to the working of the department and in in whole the entire public works arena of the, this country is going to be benefited out of this this is being a light a lighthouse of a lighthouse project uh, this erp implementation the cpwd is a lighthouse of uh, projects so there are uh, uh, more than 30 public work department state public work departments are working so so this is going to create a open a window for everybody they, once it is success of this implementation will have a far reaching implication on the implementation of the ERP system or some IT application in the public works arena in the uh, whole country. So, so, so lots of the stakes are there. So any, uh, hopefully uh, with the help, Tech Mahindra with the help of SAP, AWS and with their vendor, they will be able to implement successfully and uh, 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 we will we are going to get the benefit out of uh, everybody is going to be benefited not only the central public work department but all all its stakeholders uh, all the stakeholders in terms of businesses in terms of uh, uh, their reach to the public work uh, public works organization in the government because the it has not been leveraged the way in the public work department by either uh, in the central government or the state government the way other other organization has leveraged the IT. So it is going, uh, it's a lighthouse project. Its success will have a far reaching implication uh, for everybody. Well, I, I tell you that, that Satinder, that's been the promise of cloud that we should be able to do something and the scalability and repeatability is something that we should be able to, to go. Gautam, I want, want to give you uh, the, the, the final word on this. Um, you know, speak to you know, how does cloud, how do we enable this to be able to scale uh, throughout many groups uh, within the organization um, without having to be, you know, as much work? You know, I, I think about traditional IT, it's well, okay, I spend a project, I, I spend so much time on it, and then every time I need to repeat it, I kind of, you know, have that same amount of work. It's the, the um, you know, labor should go down as we scale out in a cloud environment. Is, is that where you feel the case? Uh, you know, help us understand how this this lighthouse account will will expand. Okay, uh, so any cloud you know uh, initiative nowadays into any organization, uh, it depends. It's primarily benefits in both the ways. Number one, the organization doesn't require to invest upfront on the capital expenditure part of it. That's very important. Number two, the organizations has got the flexibility to scale up and scale down based on the customer requirements. 
within a within a click of the mouse it, it doesn't take in time because the entire provisioning of the infrastructure is available with the cloud infrastructure service provider and similarly the scaling up of the platforms that's also available with the cloud infrastructure provider so once you do the complete mapping requirement and the sizing for the entire tenure of the project then the provisioning and deprovisioning is not a matter of uh, time it, it can happen with a click of mouse that's number one number two it becomes a challenging activity for any government organization to have their own it setup to manage such a huge mammoth task of the entire infrastructure applications services troubleshooting 24 by 7 everything so that's that's not expected from the large government organizations as such because that's not their business their business to run the country their business to run the organization their business to grow the country's different areas and the it services organizations like tech mahindra is there to support those kind of automation process and the platforms which are available on the cloud nowadays that's actually ease out the entire uh entire applications entire management monitoring availability of the entire infrastructure that makes ease out the whole complete system so it's it's all works together it's nothing that the uh, uh, system integration organization only will do the only will perform it has to happen in in synergies so application has to work together infrastructure has to be available together the management monitoring has to happen scaling up scaling down has to happen all kinds of updates upgrades and patches down the line for the complete tenure of the whole contract has to happen so that the system once up and running and delivered it's performing at least for a period of next five years as the tenure of the contract in multiple department happens now what mr gupta was saying it's very very true that cpwd it's it's the kind of uh, motherly organizations for all public works department in the country and all the public works department in the country are eagerly looking at this project now it is very important for all of us uh, not only for tech mahindra tech mahindra sap life ray and aws together to work and make this project as a success because it is not a it is not a reason that the as a simple customer this project has to be successful it's a it's a flagship project of government of india and it's been monitored by directly the government of india officials and top ranking bodies on day in day out basis number one number two if we become successful together in this project there will be an avenue for which mr gupta has said that all state pwds will be open to everybody they will try and adopt and they will try and implement the similar kind of system to all the respective states in the country so it's a huge opportunity in terms of technology enhancement automations infrastructure applications and moreover as a service provider to provide the services to all these bodies together which i feel it's a huge huge opportunity for all of us together and we are confident that we will work together hand in gloves the way we have done from the day one of this initiative and we'll take it forward. All right, well, so Tindra, thank you so much for sharing uh, the details of your project. Wish you the best of luck uh, with that going forward. And Gautam, uh, congratulations again to Tindra uh, for, for winning the most customer obsessed uh, migration solution. Thank you both for joining. Thank you, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, and thank you for joining. I'm Stu Miniman. This is theCUBE's coverage of AWS Public Sector Partner Awards. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.